For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. A great day at Daytona 500 and Daytona Beach, but one aspect is that today could be the day that you die. We don't know, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We have great expectations throughout the days. We have to-do lists. We got events coming up on our calendars, and yet we never record the date that we're going to die. And yet, that day could come today, for the Bible says the wages of sin is death but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You may be sitting in the fans today and have a Toyota take your life this afternoon. You don't know what's going to happen. You do not know what plays out in the day. And yet today, the gospel's being preached that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day, according to the scripture. That you may have eternal life wrought by God through God, Jesus. Guys, any tickets? Selling any? Death is sure. Death is more sure than your driver crossing that checker flag today. Your driver may never enter that, go through that checker flag today. He may turn and burn. And yet the Bible says the wages of sin is death. There's more sure that you're going to die to, than your driver ever finishing. Your life will come to an end. Your life will finish one day. And between living and death, if you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, when death does happen, you'll close your eyes to this world and the Bible says in Luke 16, you will open them unto the gates of hell forever. But to be saved, to die in this world, and to open up your eyes and be present with the Lord is by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Baptists are not in heaven. Mary can't help you get into heaven. Being a good person will not get you into heaven. For the Bible says there is none that doeth good. None. So if the Bible says you're not good, and you're not good enough, for all have sinned come to short of the glory of God, there is none righteous. When the Bible says that you are not righteous, you are not good, that you are a sinner. Without Jesus Christ, you ain't getting to heaven. And today the gospel preached that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. The only access you have to God is by the blood of Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. You can face God on the side of Jesus Christ the righteous, or you can face God. The angry side. Rest assured that Jesus is able to save your soul. Rest assured that Jesus, God, God who is Jesus, for He so loved the world. He wants you. He's not willing that any should perish. He has proclaimed to those who are saved, going on the world and preach the gospel, even at the Daytona 500. Yes. Preach Jesus to them, that they may know there's access to God by His Son. I'm not here to bring you religion. I'm here to bring you a Savior. I'm not here to tell you to, to trust anything but Jesus Christ, the right? The wages of sin is death. Hey guys, the gift of God is Jesus Christ. 
no other salvation. No, no, no. I've got, if it's not Jesus Christ, you ain't got God's salvation. You ain't got God's way. This 500 will not let you in without the proper tickets. You cannot get into these races unless you have the pre-ascribed tickets to get through the gates and go to your seat. And then to get into heaven, you must have the pre-ascribed ticket by God, Jesus Christ, who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's the words of Jesus. You go up to Jesus with Allah, huh? you ain't getting nothing. You go to God with Mary, you ain't going nowhere. When you go to God, say, God, I'm good enough. And he's going, this is what the Bible says, there's none good. There's none righteous. No, not one. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The wages of sin is death. You will die, and maybe today, we don't know. But if you die without the shed blood of Jesus Christ, you will wake up in eternity in a place called hell forever. But if you're to wake up with right, Jesus' righteousness, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. Oh, the hope that we have today. The hope. The hope that we have that our driver will cross that finish line. That your driver will get that checkered flag and win the Daytona 500. Oh, I hope for my driver. And yet the Bible says there's a greater blessed hope. That blessed hope is Jesus Christ, Titus chapter 2, verse 13. There is no other hope that will get you into heaven outside of Jesus Christ. Even NASCAR can't get you into heaven because they go left. They never go right. And when they go right, they crash into the wall and burn. Oh, NASCAR is a Christian event. Yeah, why did they never go right? And yet, you have the opportunity to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ today before you die. Once you die, that's it. You cannot come back and redo. There is no other way after you die. There is no other truth once you die. There is no life after you die if you die without Jesus Christ. For Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Mercy and grace come through love. Mercy and grace come through Calvary. Mercy and grace only come through Jesus Christ the Lord. God is satisfied with the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. God approves of the salvation. God approves of the finished work of Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus Christ is God approved. Religion is man-made. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Amen. There is a hell and there is a heaven. And you don't get to hell by believing on Jesus Christ. You go to hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you, the Bible says the wages of sin is death and death can happen today even at the 500. How many accidents have those cars been driven into the fans? And maybe your lucky driver will bring your death today. Oh, you don't know. And before you die, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and I shall be saved from hell and fire. Because God will not take your religion. God will not take your good person. God only takes Jesus. As much as these ticket people only takes cash, 
God takes the blood of Jesus. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That is the means of salvation. And you can call upon Him today. You may not have tomorrow. Listen, folks, we live in America. And all across this nation, there are people who are picking up guns and killing people. It could happen right now. It could happen later on today. Or you could have a, a little blood vessel travel to your brain and not have life no more. You can just close your eyes. You can get hit by a car in the traffic. There is thousands and not millions of ways to die. And yet there's one way to die. And it is the truth. And it is the life. And Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's the word of Jesus Christ. John 14, verse 6. Oh, I'll do it later. You may not have later. I'm good. The Bible says there is none that is good. There is none that is good. No, not one. The gospel, the good news, is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. The Catholic Church is not doing anything according to the scriptures. The Baptists are leaving the ways of the scriptures. Mohammedism has their own Quran. They can color in the lines. And yet Jesus, the truth, the way, the light, is the only access you have to God. And they only must believe with your heart and confess with your mouth before you die. It cannot be done afterwards. You can't wait. Because we don't know what waiting is. Maybe by the mercy, tender mercies of God, Maybe by the long suffering of God, maybe we will have tomorrow. Well, that's not promised. The Lamb's Book of Life contains the names of those that have trusted Jesus. And when your name is found in that book, when you pass on, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. That's it. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. particular question found in the Bible. The question is, what must I do to be saved? The answer is, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Guys, it's For Guys, the it's wages it's of it's sin is death, but Guys, the gift it's of it's God's it's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. There is no other lamb. There is no other way but by Jesus Christ, the righteous. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is God. And God is Jesus Christ. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. People don't want your tickets. They don't want to hear the Bible being preached. At least we're friendly with the police. For Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh on no man cometh unto the Father but by me. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. There's coming a day, and it's not the do list, but death is coming. It can be today. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. God knows you're going to die. God knows you are a sinner. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. And yet, in the mercy of God, in the love of God, the long suffering of God, He sent His only begotten Son. And the begotten Son suffered and died for our iniquity. And the sin held death has been paid by Jesus. And yet you can choose to do it your own way. You can choose to God to say, no thank you, Jesus. You can think, oh, I don't need Jesus. And I'm telling you, you're dead wrong. Because those who choose not to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ cannot be saved. Only those that have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ could be saved. And saved from what? From hell. Hell is for sinners that have rejected the gift of God. The salvation of Jesus Christ. He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not be life but the wrath of God abiding upon him. About 4,000 years ago upon a hill called Calvary, God manifest in the flesh, the Lord Jesus Christ, laid down his life that we may obtain eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That man, Jesus, that died upon the cross, Amen. is God. And God alone is able to save your soul. You shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Except by me. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died. According to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day, according to the scriptures. And if you're going to have any means of salvation, if you're going to have any means to get to heaven, it has to be according to the scriptures. It can't be a church teaching. It cannot be what you think, but it must rest upon Jesus Christ, the righteous. Jesus Christ fulfilled the law, fulfilled the prophecy. And yet there's still prophecy yet about the Lord Jesus Christ. Had religion any hope Religion cannot fulfill prophecy. Jesus, having fulfilled all prophecies of his first advent, and rest assured he will fulfill all his prophecies of the second advent. And when Jesus Christ comes again, 
He will not be that baby in the manger. He will be the lion of the tribe of Judah. He will come in fierce anger with a rod of iron to separate the sheep from the goats. And if you have never put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, you are without hope. You are without mercy. And you will spend eternity in hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and God shall be saved. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ is our Lord. The wages of sin is death. Death may come today. It's not on our to-do list. Oh, I'm going to wake up today and die. We don't know that. And yet salvation brought by God needs to be done now because there may not be a later. And the gospel prescribed by God through Jesus Christ is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Your salvation must rest upon the scriptures. And belonging to a church is not scriptural for salvation. I'm good enough, yet the Bible says there's none that you are good. And when the Bible says you're not good enough, you're not good enough. You need the righteousness of God through Jesus Christ. The blessed hope. Well, let's say the hope of you guys today is that your God is born the one. And yet there's a greater and blessed hope described by the Bible that's Jesus Christ, Titus 2.13, as the blessed hope. You see, Monday morning, this Daytona 500 will be old in the history books and, and ain't going to do you no good. When you go back to miserable Monday, go back to work Monday. And the race will have nothing in your life to But you are missing more money. A couple. Here, but believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as eternal. It could be forever. If you were to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, it'd be saved. It is that eternal death. You can be absent from the body and present with the Lord. It's by the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Now the wages of sin is death. You're going to die one way somehow because you are a sinner. And if you die in your sins, Luke 16, you will wake up in hell, pay for your sins, and torments for all eternity. And yet Isaiah 53 says Jesus Christ suffered for our iniquities. Paid the penalty for all our sins. According to what the scriptures prescribed by Jesus Christ. If you were to put your faith and trust in the finished work of what Jesus has already done through the gospel, suffer and die for our iniquities, according to Isaiah 53, according to the scriptures, it was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. 
That is the biblical means of salvation. Praying to Mary ain't going to do you nothing. That's not scriptural. When the Bible says there's one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. And you may think, oh, I'm a good old southern boy. I'm good. And the Bible prescribes there is none that do it good. So you're not good enough. You will never be good enough. You're not righteous enough, the Bible says, for all have sinned. What's that? All have rights. All have All have sinned. There is none righteous. So, if all have sinned, and you're not righteous, and you have not done good enough, don't think you're going to heaven without Jesus Christ. You have believed a lie. God has already told you through the scriptures. You're not righteous enough. You're not righteousness enough. You're not good enough. And you're a sinner. Those three classifications do not get you to heaven. 